what time it is it's poodle time hey guys welcome back to uh, tanks of the final here we are on Himmelsdorf in the tier 6 premium medium tank the poodle the uh, the poodle is actually a historical tank um, it was a panther tank that had been captured by some Polish resistance I guess you'd call them yeah Polish resistance um, and so it, it did actually exist in the real world. Um, here we are in a tier 8 game in this tier 6 tank. Uh, it's very similar to the VK3002 um, or like a stock panther basically. Um, which is pretty much what it is. It's pretty much a stock panther um, at tier 6. Its rate of fire is brilliant. So you're looking at about 20 shots per minute. Um, I can get the uh, reload down on this to three seconds. So if you can consistently fire at someone, um, and you're getting 20 shots per minute, it's giving you roughly 2,300, 2,500 DPM, which isn't bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, but anyway, so yes, here on Himmelsdorf in the Poodle, I took a hell of a beating from that T HTC. B28, HTC, I can't remember, B27, whatever, that, uh, <laughs> that um, reward um, American tank destroyer, I think it's T28, HTC, oh, 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 yes. um, and so yeah, so I'm going to try and stay back um, from the, the front line of the remainder of the battle, so I want to be in it, um, you know, if you're not in it then you're not going to win it, um, or you might win it, you're just not going to get any uh, XP and credits. That's uh, that's worth it. So here we are, popping a shot off, a shot off at the firefly, and it bounces. It bounces off the firefly. So the firefly is a Sherman, um, an M4 Sherman with nice gun, it's got a really nice big gun on it, but it still has the same armor as a Sherman. So that was disappointing. Um, but no need. We've got plenty of people on the left flank. I'm going to go back, see if I can help that Rheimtail Borsig with the. Oni tier 7 Japanese super heavy. Now you might have seen by now that we have a tiger in the base. Tiger 1. He is mid tier on this so he's right smack bang in the middle of bottom and top and he's just sitting there. He has not moved, he has taken some damage and that is it. So you can pretty much count this game 14 versus 16 since there's someone on our team working against us or rather not working with us. Anyway, so um, the penetration on this gun is not very high. Um, I think we're looking no more than 135, 150 um, with the standard rounds. Which, in a tier 6 game, perfectly adequate. But, is not going to go through the turret of an Oni. Um, that was really a, that was a bit of a silly mistake on my part. Um, I knew it wasn't going to go through, but I just wanted to get his attention anyway. So we're going to move over to the left flank, um, see if we can't take this Oni from another point um, and, and see how we get on. So we're at 7-8 at the moment, um, it's a very even game, we have taken the hill and some of our tanks are working on their baseline at the moment. This Oni though, this Oni really is causing us a problem. Um, we need him gone so we can advance basically, um, except for the Tiger that's still sitting in our base, he's not going anywhere. So, Ryman Tail's taken down the uh, Oni, so it's time to head over to their base and support our other guys. Um, we're now losing 8-10. Um, mind you, there is 3 artillery pieces on their team, and we only have 1 left. So, it's actually pretty even in terms of the tanks that we've got in the game. Um, I'm popping up here, because I'm on such low health, uh, I'm attempting to side scrape in a poodle, um, which is... <laughs> quite comical in itself. I tell you though, in T6 games you can easily side scrape with this. It has brilliant armour on the side of it. it. even has good frontal armour for T6. So if you've got that tank angled, you can do quite well. So we take Jackson out. He was uh, on bugger all health there anyway. Um, now we've 
quarter back to 10 versus 11. We managed to take one of their artillery out, so it's two artillery on their team, one on our team. So tank count is still three apiece. And look at that, so we just bounced a shot from the KV-85 off the side of this. Um, probably a bit silly here, I really should have gone around the side. But we get the KV-85 kill anyway, so that was fantastic to get. Um, now mind you, there is a KV-2 up here, and they have a super parachute on their team as well. As well as two artillery. We have our Rheimatel, and now we don't have me. So I should really have gone back and gone around the side. He gets taken out anyway. Um, but there was, oh, I could see the KV-2 had been there on the map. There was really no need for me to, to go there anyway. So we still have the Tiger One, um, who's sitting in our base doing nothing. So it's really um, 12 to 13 at this point. Um, but they do have two artillery which on Himmelsdorf is more than capable of shotgunning um, and we have our Rheimatel Borsig as well so our Borsig is, uh, is doing his job he's in the cat he's taken out one artillery but now he gets shot by another artillery and then he gets tracked again by the Super Pershing at this stage he can't go anywhere um, that Super Pershing got him another one so he's only on 171 health he manages to take out the Super Pershing Picks up his top gun, and the artillery is there. Artillery will one-shot this man every day of the week on this much health. And there we go. He's taken out. Well, good end to the game. We uh, managed to take that one away um, with our Rheimatel, our artillery, and a stupid tiger left over. Hope you enjoyed that, guys, and um, we'll see you next time.